fine competitors, Brian, Martin, and Daniel Suh. We weren't going to actually try and play. <laughs> Badminton is really just an underappreciated sport, isn't it? Hey, what do you expect from a sport that plays with shuttle punk? <laughs> hey, that reminds me. A little birdie told me that we have people who have been working at Pierce College for 25 years. What a racket. <laughs> I can't believe they haven't retired yet. Well, I thought I read a tweet somewhere about Pierce College being a great place to work. I bet our 25-year honorees would agree with that. I bet they would. In fact, our first 25-year employee is Steven Strzok. This is what his supervisor, Tom Davis, had to say about him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you Steven, <laughs> it says graveyard right here. I'm about to read it. Steven started at Pierce College Piolf as custodian on the graveyard shift in September 1990. In 1996, he became Maintenance Custodial One, where his mechanical skills and abilities were continually noticed, and he was promoted to the position of Maintenance Mechanic One in 1999. Steven's skills and abilities consistently progressed, and he was promoted to Maintenance Mechanic Two in 2006. Currently, he is a Maintenance Mechanic Two at the Fort Silicon campus and a valuable member of the facilities department. Alan Kemp, and this is what his supervisor, Sachi Horvath, has to say about him. Wait, so, does he read his own book? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Dr. Alan Kemp is a highly respected faculty member in the sociology department. I heard that's a pretty good department. Dude, I know. Isn't that who you work for? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Though he was originally hired to coordinate and teach within the Social Service Mental Health Program, Alan is an accomplished author and highly respected within his field, having written textbooks related to death and dying and abuse within families. He holds a master's degree in both social work and divinity and earned his doctorate in Canada. He has many years of experience teaching, in teaching, ministry, professional counseling, and continues to carry his licensure as a mental health professional. Wait. He also put up with being in my hallway for like four years. <laughs> he is an ordained pastor and is extremely dedicated to his community. Alan has also traveled the world, having been to Vietnam, the Philippines, Japan, Amsterdam, Netherlands, England, Germany, Ireland, and last but not least, his favorite country, India. It was there that he met and inter interviewed the Dalai Lama and others. These experiences enhance what he's able to bring to his students, something they express gratitude for. Students consist consistently give positive feedback about Alan's classes, and one student said it best when she wrote, Alan is an amazing instructor that makes the information we are learning interesting and relevant. He brings all the students together and lets us discover our own perspectives. He's also extremely calming, and I think he is the best. Pierce College has been extremely fortunate to have an excellent faculty member for over 25 years. Next up is Sandra Crossway, and this is what, ha what her supervisor, uh, Sachi Horvath, had to say about her. Sandy has been a valued member of our college for the past 25 years. Originally hired, what, she's smiling? Okay, originally hired as a coordinator <laughs> and lead instruction uh, in the alcoholism and drug abuse program. She transitioned to the psychology department in 2011. With a master's in counseling, Sandy has significant experience in her field as a chemical dependency and mental health counselor and a clinical supervisor to others newly joining the field. What some people may not know about her is she used to be the director of the Teeter Totter Gang, a therapeutic improvisational theater group. She is also, that, we could use her right now. Okay. We're not dying yet, are we? Oh, yeah, I shouldn't ask. Okay. Uh, she is also known by others here as a supreme baker. Belly right here. There we go. Uh, I got lost there. And, and a, a supreme baker and a thoughtful one at that, surprising your colleagues with goodies now and then. 
Since her start at Pierce College, Sandy has jumped into providing the best learning environment for her students. In 2003, it was noted that she, there's a word missing, prepared the first fully online certificate in the former ALCDA program. Since then, Sandy has demonstrated tenacity in the field of technological change and a commitment to continuous improvement in all of her classes. Her students often express how much they appreciate her high level of knowledge and care in the classroom, as well as her sense of humor. Thank you, Sandy, for 25 years of service. is next and this is what his supervisor Tom Broxson has to say about him. So Tom Phelps spent four years teaching economics, math, and statistics before becoming the chair of the business division. Tom led the business and social science division for 11 years, took a two-year break while Candace Gentry was chair, then went back to chair for another four years after that. So he spent the majority of the time here at Pierce, 15 years, as the chair of the business division. For the past six years, Tom has been engaged in the work that he cares deeply about, helping students succeed. He has been doing exactly that in his role as a full-time faculty member teaching economics, math, and statistics. Thank you for your service, Tom. Thank you. Next up is Brian Terrell, otherwise known as Brother B. Mockery. became a Pierce College team member in February of 1991 and has been stuck in the basement of the Cascade Building ever since. <laughs> he was immediately assigned to Christie Hall in the print shop. The equipment he was asked to work on were large printing presses that you had to climb up onto to change the parts. <laughs> Did he have gear? Uh, the equipment he worked on during the 90s was massive compared to what he works with today. Brian worked with giant paper folders, paper cutters, and something called a plate burner. God, I don't miss those. The equipment, the equipment Brian worked on was also very sticky due to the various inks and solvents that he had to use during the printing process. If you're old enough, you'll... Oh, damn it. I always have to be old enough. <laughs> If you're old enough, you'll remember the mimeograph machine. Smelly. Uh, he always had very short office meetings or everybody went outside. How <laughs> did they know they were going outside though? Okay. It seemed to Brian that during the 90s and the early part of the 2000s, everyone printed something. So he was doing about four and a half million prints per year for many years. And even now we still slightly do more than two million prints. Uh, we all do a lot more digital now, and hopefully less and less printing as uh, time moves on. During 1997, Brian was asked to manage 20 paper copiers throughout the district, and now we have, we have over 40 of those machines due to a great deal of the printing that everyone needs to get their work done. It's hard for people to realize just how much work goes into maintaining our copier fleet. We have a fleet. Uh, <laughs> what did that work? Anyway, our copyright fleet with everything from changing toner to getting them fixed, moving them when they need to be, and making sure they're secured because God knows somebody's going to steal a copy machine. <laughs> Over. It can happen. Over 25 years. Daniel, you'll get a raise one day, okay? As soon as you get tenure. You have to have that eye on that machine. Over 25 years, Brian supervised eight full-time employees and way too many part-timers account. After working for Christy Hall, he moved under uh, Lorna Sutton in Marcom and stayed in Marcom until 1999, where he then went to work for IT. He's been such an outstanding employee for IT that in 2014, he was given the extra mile Pierce College's highest achievement that could be bestowed on any employee. Brian Durrell. Thank you so much to Daniel and Brian. Hey, Denise, aren't you part of the 
dream team? I am part of the dream team. You know, as a child, I dreamed so long and so hard about being an Olympian. And I tried, and I tried, and I tried. And it wasn't until I became to Pierce College that I became an Olympian. Possibilities realized. <laughs> Outreach team and champion ribbon twirlers, Jessica Fryer and Ruthie Schindler. Kurt Warmington and Nikki Poppin-Egan. One thing she does 
about every third or fourth quarter is say something like, I so enjoy working with you, or you are so much fun to work with. I usually return the favor and I always feel so special. Shelly has a very nice way of making people feel special and being fully present for us, even when she's busy beyond normal human endurance. <laughs> she is sweet, kind, and a very patient human being. We are very lucky. And she is absolutely the kindest, most humanitarian person I have ever worked with. She is patient and giving, not quick to anger, and has a beautiful gift of being able to see situations from all angles. She, this makes her so very empathetic to the needs of those around her. We're not done yet. Continue <laughs> standing. She continues to go on saying that I have the privilege of working with Shelley in her last position at the college, and I am so lucky to have benefited from her institutional knowledge. She is kind and thoughtful, she is humble and steady. She is artistic and open-minded. As the faculty chairs who work with her have noted, she is a calm, positive presence in an environment that can be tumultuous, and for that, I am very grateful. Shelley is planning on retiring after this year. Working dog. So this, <laughs> so this honor for her service is bittersweet. I appreciate her creativity, curiosity, and comic relief. I appreciate her friendship and her compassion for her friends, <laughs> colleagues, and family. I could not ask for a better partner in my work than Shelly. If you have a chance before she retires, you can get to her office. Uh oh, I screwed that up. Hold on. <laughs> if you have a chance before she retires, you can get her to give your office a feng shui makeover for a small fee of a grande vanilla soy latte. <laughs> I couldn't make it without you. You've made my time here wonderful. Thank you. Friends, that is what you call a true class act right there. And now we would like to welcome Carly Haddon and Kim Allen, who, as some of you might be surprised to find out, are quite the ultimate Frisbee activists.
tell you about what her supervisor, Ann White, had to say about Julie's time here at Pierce. Where do you start to talk about someone who has been at the college for 45 years? Julie began her time at Pierce as a student when the college operated in a grocery store. She said she chose Pierce over Tacoma Community College, and we say that was a great choice. Tuition was about $60 per quarter, and she paid for it with the money she earned babysitting. She graduated from the college in the spring of 1971. That was 1971. <laughs> Graduation. Julie, <laughs> Julie helped choose the name of the college when the name changed from Clover Park Community College to Fort Stillman, Fort Stillman Community College. Julie began her career at the college and worked as a work-study student in the winter of 1970, when she became a full-time position in the winter of 1971. She worked in a variety of student services positions include, to include outreach, admissions, transfer advising, pre-admissions evaluation, and transcripts. Her current position is the registration and record supervisor at Fort Stellico. Julie says she has experienced at least 10 reorganizations and at least that many remodels. Julie says she has experienced at least 10 reorganizations and at least that many remodels. She recalls the portable building saying, there wasn't much light and there's a lot of mud as there, was, as there wasn't any pavement around or between the buildings. Julie has a keen memory and frequently shares the history of the college with others. Outside of work, Julie enjoys spending time with her husband, Chris, and visiting vineyards. <laughs> she and her husband even own a vineyard in Winlock, and she loves her wine. She enjoys her baby, her little dog, Rose.